All right, some verses concerning the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is uh, Luke chapter 23. Luke chapter 23 and verse 33. And when they were come to the place which is called Calvary, there they crucified him. And the malefactors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. And the people stood beholding, and the uh, rulers also with them derided him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he be Christ the chosen of God. And the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him and offering him vinegar, and saying, If thou be the king of the Jews, save thyself. And a superscription also is written over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. And one of the malefactors which were hanged railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, that means he told him off, saying, Does does not thou fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, that this man hath done nothing amiss, or nothing out of place. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily or truly I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. And it was about the sixth hour, and there was a darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. And the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was rent in the midst, or torn in the middle. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the spirit. Now when the centurion saw what was done, he glorified God, saying, Certainly this was... A righteous man. Well, he's correct. This is a righteous man. He said was, past tense. But this is a righteous man. You see, the Lord Jesus Christ is the only perfect man that walked the face of the earth, and he can be your saviour this afternoon. That's why I'm here. I want you to know that your soul can be saved as a result of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ alone. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That can be yours this afternoon. You can get right with God as a result of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ alone. You see, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So we're hearing the Word of God preached, and that's important that we hear the Word of God preached, so that we understand our sinful condition before the Lord, that we have a need of salvation. We have a need of forgiveness for our sins. And those sins can only be forgiven through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ alone. See, the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross so that you and I could have opportunity to get right with God and have our sins forgiven through faith in Him. Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures. He was buried and He rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. You can be saved as a result of faith in Him. You can either receive Christ as your Saviour, or you can reject Him. Let me remind you, if you reject Him though, you will receive the due reward of your deeds, which is hell and the lake of fire. There's no need to go there. What's your name? Dave. Hi Dave. Look me up on YouTube if you want. Alright. Yes, so the fact is that we're sinners in the sight of God. We need forgiveness for those sins. The only way we can receive forgiveness is through the precious shed blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, which he shed upon the cross, in whom we have redemption, through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Your soul can be saved today. Don't leave it another second. It's too dangerous not to be right with God, not to have forgiveness for your sins. And that forgiveness is only found in the Lord Jesus Christ alone. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. You need salvation so urgently, you don't understand how urgent it is, 
But we definitely need God's salvation. We need forgiveness for our sins. And that forgiveness is only possible through the sacrifice and the precious shed blood of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Just remember, Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures. He was buried and He rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. Your soul can be saved as a result. You can have forgiveness for your sins through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ alone. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. A wonderful thing to know that your soul is saved. You're on your way to heaven through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ.